Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you, I hope, fun idea Christmas are coming and maybe you are about to send some happy mails to your friend or you are going to wrap your Christmas presents and not always we are ready to do so. Maybe we forgot to buy a wrapping paper and I'm coming with a little idea that you can use old books or book pages you can wrap your presents or presents you're gonna send to your friends in happy mails in old book pages uh, grab loose book pages which i do have in a huge amount and i can start to make them as my wrapping paper first uh, i'm gonna get up maybe this one this is small so i can have a look if i do have book page which is in the size which can possibly wrap the thing i want to wrap in it this is close to that so i can extend it just slightly i do have here beautiful sheet from music uh, music sheet book from i think these are uh, psalms i do believe so i can extend it with another uh, book page just a grab a glue and extend a little bit the size of my wrapping book page and then I'm just gonna try to place this in the middle, fold the sides. So I know one side will be here, the opposite side will be there. Here I can measure how far I should go. I'm gonna get up. The scissors and cut this book page right before my fold because i know i do have the other book page from the opposite side so now i should fit in this one so first this then this one and i can fit all those notebooks into that book page uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more vintage look with this. Uh, this is medical tape, surgery tape, the paper tape, which I did color with alcohol ink, brownie alcohol ink from Octopus. I will put links for the tape and for the uh, alcohol ink where I from buy it down below in the description box. This tape, um, it's really beautiful when you ink it. It looks amazingly vintage and it does add really beautiful look into your project so i'm using it like a lot always like so much <laughs> so i'm gonna add it here and just tape it over and add it on the other side as well And tape it over. And now adding a tag which I did stamped and distressed. Uh, I do have here this string. Maybe I should unwrap it first, right? So, with the wrapping, we can continue with this. I think I would like to have it somewhere here. So, from that, I can go down 
and wrap it one more time. And I'm gonna go again from the underneath. Now here I'm gonna wrap around those strings and make a knot. I think I will have to take a glove because my carp tunnels are killing me. So that's first wrapping. You can add there some glitters and maybe some cute image then maybe something a little bit bigger than are your book pages so for that you're gonna take book pages and you're gonna glue them together book pages glued together they do make beautiful patchwork or collage so enjoy to, to that process of placing your book pages together you don't have to go one by one you can make a mix and glue them in the different order and totally enjoy the spread of your book pages once you do have glued piece which is i will say three times uh, in the leg and probably one and a half uh, in the high then is your item you can start to wrap it i will put here on the bottom just a small piece and fold it i'm gonna keep here on the top a little bit more then we're gonna fold the top and then you can Start to wrap it around. And here I'm gonna manage to fold this in the way that I will see a little bit of that back. Now I can fold it this way. And that's going to be my first pocket. I'm going to cut it shorter here. Now the opposite side, we can do folding a little bit more. I believe you can go like this. And we're going to wrap it around this way. And here, fold it back and again I'm gonna use the tape I have created or I uh, inked. Uh, I have used washi tape, beautiful washi tape with reindeers, this one. Uh, I did use it all around of the edges here and around the edges here. And uh, instead of some stamping, I'm going to be using images uh, just to add here. And I wanted to make them kind of like semi-transparent. So I'm using fragranced wax, this one, and I'm melting the wax over the images. I did print out these images on 70 GSM paper, and now I am melting the wax over it. I already melted over it, so now I'm taking any extras. I did share this, uh, this technique a long time ago when I read it in a very old book. In, in old uh, in book from 1905 actually i did read this technique so i did share it in video i will find that video and link it but down below for those who want to know a little bit more but what do you see it's actually what i did i did print out those papers here on the sides are uh, these images so here you can see the thickness of the paper i used very light paper 
the lightest I have here. So on the sides of these sheets, there are these images. I don't want to have them semi-transparent. I will use them as a decoration. And now with that melting these papers, I am taking off the extras of that wax. You can use any paraffin, any candle. And if you don't have this heating tool, you can use uh, iron. Place your image on a baking paper, put some candles on it, place another baking paper over it, and then use your iron and melt the candle on your paper, and that will give you this semi-transparent look. And as you can see, it's very juicy, so I'm taking that extra of the wax off so the images will be nicely transparent because more wax you have in the image um, it will be kind of like blurry or foggy that image so any extra wax you will take off it will make that image clear more clear and more transparent so here you can see the writing underneath So now I can choose the one I will like the most and I think it's this one and this I can use in my journals because it's a really cute beautiful additional image look at this from the other side it looks really amazing so I'm gonna glue it with that medical tape uh, it's tape made for sticking on the human body so it's holding over you know a little bit oily skin so it should hold here as well and i'm gonna glue it here and probably here and i do have a cute little package with beautiful winter scenery another thing you may want to wrap is something around it i do have here this beautiful candle by the way a really good smell uh, i'm gonna glue together three book pages because i think that will be enough what i will need now i'm gonna measure yeah i think it's Spacious enough. Well, I do believe I will need only that spot, so I'm gonna cut the book page here because I don't need like a huge amount over. I need just the amount which will fit, uh, which will fit my double-sided tape. Now I'm gonna measure. Well, I think first I'm gonna make the edges straight. That's here, and I'm gonna measure here. I will need the full size of the top of my rounded can, and that's here. So, in this spot, I'm gonna fold it. Now I'm going to measure this one. And that's right here. So I'm going to fold it at this spot. On one side, I do have 
size of the paper which is covering full lid of my can on the opposite side i do have a piece of book page which is covering more than half of the can now i'm gonna fold my papers to some smaller parts like this this will be perfect now i can open it and on the part which is covering the lid the biggest part here i'm gonna cut these folds and this wrapping i saw on youtube there is beautiful channel with wrapping ideas well there is many channels with wrapping ideas I do have one which I really like I will put link down below because their ideas are really awesome I do have cut it that side now uh, I'm gonna take my double-sided tape and put a double-sided tape here on this side I'm gonna cut the rest gonna grab my gun and wrap it to my book page like this so I'm gonna open it here slide my book page on the table and first I'm gonna wrap the back of my can I'm gonna flip it this way and every single of these I'm gonna fold with this corner to this spot here right at the fold and then this side I'm gonna fold over the edge here and now again fold this corner to that spot here And this over the edge of that book page. I'm gonna continue with this folding all around. And once you do have folded all around of these pieces, you're gonna start to place them down. So down and down. And again, all around, keep these folded inside. And once you are on the last one, you're gonna lift up the first one, lift it up and slide this behind it and there you got it. You've got neatly wrapped the can. And now maybe you wanna send something a little bit bigger and you wanna create a pocket for it. For that, the pages from an old atlas book which is already useless because the maps inside are totally different like i do have this atlas here which i am using for my craft uh, craft projects because 
the maps inside are not true anymore. So these large pages are perfect for creating pockets. You don't need many pages glued together. You will be okay just with one page because size of your product is smaller than that page. So you just need to fold it around. Make it slightly bigger so the item will have a space inside. Fold it here. Fold it here. I'm gonna place it about one eighth of inch from the bottom and I'm gonna fold this here over the edge of my stamps I'm gonna grab scissors cut off this And I'm going to keep it, spread it on two pieces, the long two pieces. And I'm going to cut off this. I'm going to take medical tape. You can take any tape you want. You can take washi tape, something decorative. I'm going to take this medical tape, place it here. And tape this one here to extend the piece I do have there. Like this. Now this will be flap of my pocket and I want to make it a little bit more decorative. So I'm going to fold it this way and use my scissors to actually make it decorative. Slightly. Like this. Now with this folding I matched where there is a middle. I'm gonna take one of these off cuts, glue it here where there is middle marked, and with my crocodile, I'm gonna punch hole in that flap. The flap will be over that pocket like this. So I'm gonna punch the hole in this reinforced piece. Uh, close to the edge I will say half inch from the edge like this I have here these uh, reinforcers which I did color it before with my green ink I'm gonna place it from both sides And I'm going to also fix an eyelet in it. Now I'm going to close the pocket, fold this over. And with the pencil, with the pencil or pen, I'm gonna draw the hole here and I'm gonna take one here in this pocket. So now I know where I should punch the holes here on this spot. I'm gonna place that, those reinforcers around around one here 
and one here to have it more visible before I will punch the holes I'm gonna take this second piece which I uh, cut before gonna open it and I can see through the light where those reinforcers are so I'm gonna place it there just to reinforce this spot let it dry punch the hole and fix the eyelets like this and now I am ready to put there uh, some string I do have here this fake suede so I'm gonna use that I think yeah something like this will be perfect long enough so I'm gonna place it here in this opening one here the other one through the other hole and I'm gonna use the same medical tape to fix it here so I will don't lose it and I'm gonna glue it over like this now I am ready to close that pocket so I can put the glue here and put the glue on the bottom or use maybe some tape so here I'm gonna glue it with the glue and the bottom I'm gonna glue with my colored tape like this and maybe I can take the decorative washi tape and place it on few spots like an extra decoration like this I do have the washi tape here on the bottom and over the lid and then just slide your gift or present you wanna give inside grab the top of your thread or lace or string uh, put it through to this eyelet and now you can close it easy decorative and really beautiful pocket from old book page like this you do believe this is cute gift and this pocket can be reused for maybe documents it can store anything you want really beautiful wrapping you can create from book page and i'm gonna be using again atlas book page and washi tape and some wooden uh, die cut i do have these with the winter and christmas theme more winter theme and these two beautiful washi tapes so first what i'm gonna do I'm gonna fold the book page around the item I would like to wrap and here you can see that my book page it's not big enough but that's not a huge issue I can extend it the book page either with another book page or maybe with that washi tape so I'm gonna fold it here around the edges and I'm gonna fold also the bottom of the book page around the edge here Now with my scissors I'm gonna cut these bottom pieces, this one and this one. First from the fold I'm gonna cut this in the angle and same I'm gonna do on that opposite side. And now I'm gonna cut off this. 
and cut of this. I'm gonna take double sided tape and place double sided tape here on the bottom. And I can make it straight right next to that tape. So I do have a base folded. And I will see this when, oh, on the top, when the item will be inside. So I'm going to get up my washi tapes and do small decorative frame. Very easy way just to make layout using my washi tapes. I'm going to grab this smaller one and do same. So I do have base framed on and now I can flip it this way, take off the backing from here. I'm going to take my medical tape, this paper tape, any tape will do the job and I'm going to place it here from inside. Now I can take the item I would like to wrap. I'm going to place it inside here, fold this one first because it does have that sticky part then fold this one over and glue it on my sticky tape then i'm gonna fold this here on the bottom because i do have that, that double-sided tape and now i still have that sticky part from my tape which is holding both sides so i can take my washi tape and place it here as a little decoration. Now here on the front I can choose what shape I will like here more. And maybe this deer. So I'm gonna grab my double sided tape. Place that double sided tape and this is really the most easy wrapping you can do. But it's beautiful and those book pages they do bring nice uh, interest. And I'm gonna place it here. And we do have cute little wrapping. Another type of wrapping is when you are using lace. I do have really beautiful laces in my stuff. So I'm going to try to incorporate here with these tapes a little bit of those laces, which I do have. First, I need to wrap this neatly. Everything must be tied because the book page is quite small and I don't want to extend it. So I'm going to uh, stick all around labels to make this back neatly wrapped now i can wrap this into that book page and i do have beautiful images on that book page and i'm gonna use these large ones on the top and because that book page is quite tight here I'm going to use double sided tape and I'm going to place the image this way so this could be on the end of my box so here I will have this one Now this I can fold over it and glue it straight away so it will hold nice and tight. I'm gonna prepare my inked medical tape just because it will add a little bit more vintage vibes into my wrapping. And 
and here. And now I'm gonna wrap the pack. So I'm gonna wrap it this way and this will go over and my tape will hold it on the spot. Same I'm gonna do on this side. First the bottom one, then this over. So I do have beautifully wrapped in the book page. I do have here this beautiful lace which I'm gonna wrap around and I will use again double sided tape just a little strip here and this fold it over so it will grab itself and now on this one I do have a wooden button and this Utah string it's nice color it's kind of like a very mature beautifully nature style which goes very well or really well with those vintage book pages so now give me a minute I need to push this through to that button it will take a time finally it took a really long time <laughs> I'm glad I did pause my camera I'm gonna place it on this side and just wrap my string around and I'm gonna go with this here and around and I'm gonna make small knot and bow here on the bottom Maybe here. This is my Christmas and winter, oh yeah, Christmas and winter pack or organizer of Epimera. I did this one last year and I have to say it's amazing. I think maybe this one could be, oh, that would be awesome. So I'm going to place this as a decoration. And these are my winter stamps. They do have so many different types of winter activities. So this is another type of uh, wrapping items for Christmas in book pages. I do believe this could be really beautiful wrapping. And this is my sharing for today. Uh, here you can see how beautiful it can look uh, to wrap in the book pages either looking brand new one with the white paper and beautiful black print but when you add their red color and maybe some wooden shape uh, it looks really festive or with beautifully vintage looking pages wrapping into lace and maybe a button and adding maybe some little tag it can look really amazing here you can see I did use the book pages which are with the uh, with the picture and it looks amazing with that as well. And here beautifully wrapped all around candle with this decorative ending. So not only cheap but also beautiful. And if you don't have old book pages, maybe you do have newspapers, you can use them to wrap your Christmas gifts into something new and uh, unusual. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope you will try some uh, ideas from this video. Uh, if you like this video and you think your friends or family will like it, please share the link for this video. I will appreciate that very much. Thank you so much for joining me today and spending your time with me. I wish you all beautiful Advent Sunday. Uh, have a wonderful time. 
take care of yourself enjoy the time before christmas if you are going to bake some cookies enjoy that too i'm going right now to move myself to the kitchen and spend some time to bake all christmas cookies i have to have 12 types because of 12 months of the year to respect that so <laughs> supposed to be doing something already now I, I have to start my sister is already done so I'm very much behind so I wish you all beautiful Sunday have a wonderful time and I will see you soon bye